On July 28th, so very soon, Venezuela is going to have presidential elections. It's important to be aware of what's going to happen. First, you know, every six years, Venezuelans gather to choose their president. There will be a Chavista candidate, Nicolas Maduro, and there are eight other presidential candidates from the center right to the extreme right. Now, we can be sure that on July 28th, when it's most likely that Nicolas Maduro will win, if this happens, we can be sure that the U.S. government is going to see that there was fraud. There's always been an intent from the U.S. to bring down our democratically elected government in Venezuela. The most visible candidate on the right wing it's actually a person who's not running, Maria Corina Machado. She cannot run because she has been disabilitated because, among many other things, she called for very violent uprisings in Venezuela in 2017. More than 100 people died then. So she has a surrogate, Edmundo Gonzalez, and this is, we could say, the candidate of the U.S. These same people who have called for sanctions have, have promoted the theft of CITGO, which was Venezuela's uh, most important asset internationally, and they have even called for military intervention. So the profile of these people is tremendously dangerous. Why does the U.S. establishment support Maria Corina Machado? Why do they support, when there are other candidates, other right-wing candidates, why does the U.S. support these candidates? Well, one thing about the Bolivarian process is that it's not only a nationalist project in the sense of calling for the capacity of the people to take decisions over their resources, in Venezuela's case, oil, but the Bolivarian process has also put forth issues of Latin American integration and, of course, put forth the project of socialism. And the truth is that the most opposed option to what the Bolivarian process represents is in Maria Corina Machado and in this fascist tendency. So the U.S. government supports such a fascist uh, candidate is because they actually want to absolutely undo all the good things that have happened to the people of Venezuela over the last 23 years, all the good things that have happened because the Venezuelan people have organized with a government that has responded to their needs and who has responded to their demands. So as we look at the upcoming elections, think about the Venezuelan people as people who are capable of thinking in the worst of conditions, as people who will be making their own decisions and as a country that's projecting a better alternative for the future.